The fight against human trafficking is a dynamic one as human trafficking rings are known to go to any length to cover their heinous act. Thankfully, the Nigerian government, through its apex body, NAPTO, which is mandated to combat the scourge of human trafficking, is doing all it can to ensure that the battle for our young people is not lost. I am Emanuela Okeke and you are watching NAPTO on the Move. Thank you for joining us. In this episode, we have a lineup of activities and events geared towards the eradication of human trafficking and all forms of violence against persons. We will commence with a study tour by the students of the Defense Intelligence College to NAPTO. Take a look. To further strengthen collaboration with partners, students on Basic Intelligence Officers course from the Defense Intelligence College on a study tour led by the College Commandant, Commodore E. O. Jayola, paid a visit to the Director General of NAPTIP, Dame Julie Okadoli. The Defense Intelligence Agency, of course, is one of the three main intelligence services. And the Defense Intelligence College is the training arm of the Defense Intelligence Agency. And uh, for the college and for the agency generally, Whenever there's a major course in session, there's a theme that's always given to the course. The essence is within the course of study to interrogate the theme and see if they could do a research and get some findings around it. For this particular basic intelligence of science course, the, the theme is uh, actionable intelligence as a panacea for combating human trafficking in Nigeria. Our uh, focus basically is to be able to check one or two things. How proactive can intelligence be in checking these vices, the human trafficking vices? And what has been the cooperation among the various security agencies in the country? One, and even for the foreign partners, are there collaborative efforts ongoing? Then what is the capacity of the staff of the agency? in terms of coming this uh, illicit practice and uh, the college has deemed it fit to identify key organizations that we think we could zero on to get into the details of this human trafficking. Receiving the Commodore and his students, the Director General of NAPTIP enlightened the team on the mandate of NAPTIP and also commended the efforts of Defense Intelligence Agency. This agency was created by the federal government of Nigeria, pursuant to the Trafficking in Persons Prohibition Law Enforcement and Administration Act of 2003. The law was amended in 2005 and then reenacted in 2015 to accommodate the salient issues that revealed itself during the course of enforcing the law. NAPTIP is the only federal government agency, I want to emphasize, the only federal government agency charged with the responsibility of combating human trafficking and other related crimes. We are empowered by an act of parliament to investigate, arrest, prosecute and convict offenders whilst rescuing 
counseling, rehabilitating, and empowering victims that have suffered acts of exploitation from the traffickers. The success so far achieved by NAPTE could not have been possible without the collaboration of other sister law enforcement and intelligence agencies such as the DIA and so on. NAPTIP has really, really enjoyed synergy with the DIA and this has led to fruitful information gathering and intelligence sharing that has immensely assisted both agencies in the pursuit of their mandates. The Director General of NAPTIP then lectured the students on the topic of actionable intelligence a panacea for combating human trafficking in Nigeria. Actionable intelligence is processed information that is capable of being put to use in order to mitigate the activities of human traffickers. When intelligence is actionable, it is said to be applicable, functional, useful, usable and workable. Actionable intelligence is down to earth, pragmatic, accessible, obtainable and reachable. Without a doubt, NAPTIP has benefited immensely through the deployment of actionable intelligence to combat human trafficking crimes. Just recently, two of our operatives under the NAPTIP Rapid Response Squad leveraged on the information that was supplied by a complainant on the whistleblower platform located on the NAPTIP website to go undercover and unravel a human trafficking ring that has been recruiting young unsuspecting girls and taking them out of the country to Malaysia for an exploitative sex trade. Though the case is still in court, the agency was able to disrupt the activities and send them packing out of that location. The visit was very interactive, as students from the Defense Intelligence College sought to gain more insight on the components of human trafficking. Some recent arrests informed the press conference at the agency's headquarters. You don't want to miss this for anything. The National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons recently held a press conference at its headquarters in Abuja. The Director, Investigation and Monitoring, Josiah Emerole, addressed members of the press. This briefing is in line with the promise of the Director General to always let you into the activities of the agency as major stakeholders in the fight against human trafficking and violence against persons in Nigeria. And through you, the public will be able to fully understand what NAMTIP is doing to stem the tide of these criminal activities. The first case is against one 27-year-old airport taxi driver James Eberi Chuku Osuji, who hails from a Himen Badno, Imo State. The suspect was alleged to have drugged and sexually violated a 17 year old female. This matter was subsequently reported to the agency and the suspect apprehended by a tactical team of the NAPTI Rapid Response Board. The second case is against one 43 year old Pastor Philip Prince. Latu Basu, who hails from Ondo West in Ondo State. The suspect was alleged of sexually harassing his 17 year old house help. The suspect would sneak into the victim's room and use his hands to fondle the victim's breasts and other sexual genitals. The suspect was eventually apprehended by the Native Response Squad. The third case is against one. 31 year old chef by profession, Innocent 80, who hails from Ifayong village, Otwan local government area of Akwaibom state. He was arrested for allegedly raping a 13 year old girl whose mother provides cooking assistance whenever he has a catering contract. The victim had gone to the residence of the suspect to collect a cake which the suspect had promised her for her birthday, despite the mother's calls for the girl to return home, the suspect engaged in delay tactics until it was late and subsequently told the girl that he could not allow her to take the risk of getting onto the road at night. That night, he allegedly raped the girl severally and covered the girl's mouth whenever she wanted to shout to seek for help. That incident has 
resulting into pregnancy. There were also cases of human trafficking. The other two are attempts by two suspects to traffic other Nigerians out of the country using fraudulent means contrary to the Trafficking in Persons Prohibition Enforcement and Administration Act 2015. The first involves one Mr. Abiona David Oluwafemi Toby, a man with various personalities, using letterheads of the Federal Ministry of Health, Office of the Senior Special Advisor to the President on Healthcare. He claimed to be of the Hospitals Management Board of the Ogun State Government, Office of the Ogun State Governor. He has also at the time claimed to be the Director of Finance and Accounts of the Hospitals Board. He tried to traffic 12 persons to Finland under the guise of embarking on a study tour of health facilities. The last case involves one 33-year-old Asia Rita, who was alleged to be trafficking seven persons to Libya. She and the alleged victims were intercepted by officers of the Nigerian Immigration Service in Katsina and transferred to NAPTI by the NIS headquarters. The Director General Management of NAPTI are grateful to the NIS for these collaborative efforts. This suspect will soon be arraigned in court in accordance with the provisions of the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act 2015. It is important to note that these offenses are contrary to the Section 1 of the above said, said Act and the maximum punishment sentence is imprisonment for life. He also advised parents. We would like to use this opportunity to appeal to parents, especially the mothers, to pay closer attention to their daughters. These are the people that are being violated on a daily basis. The spirit of rape is becoming very high and we all must work together to end this. To those out there who now take the lives and destroy the lives of the girl child because of their uncontrollable sexual appetite, nothing will no longer allow this to thrive. For the traffickers, nothing will continue to go after them until we make the country a safe place for the people. The press conference was very interactive as members of the press fielded questions and some offenders confessed to their crime. Are you as surprised as I am with the cases of rape and continued travels to Libya despite the ongoing evacuation of Nigerians? One does they say shall never end. A word indeed is enough for the wise. Moving on now to the eastern part of Nigeria is the season of August meetings and the Napti Benuguzono Command will not pass on these events. Keep watching. The flag off ceremony of the 2018 Enugu State Women Returns, popularly known as August Meeting, with the theme, The Family as a Hub in Creating Safe Space for Children, a Collective Responsibility, was recently held in Enugu State. The occasion, which was graced by many dignitaries, including Her Excellency, the wife of the Governor of Enugu State, Monica Uguayi, was an opportunity for the Enugu State Zonal Commander of NAPTIP and her team to sensitize all participants on the dangers of human trafficking, child labor, sale of babies, domestic violence and child abuse. The wife of the Governor of Enugu State, Monica Uguayi, pledged to support the agency in the fight against human trafficking. The awareness campaign was well attended by over 20,000 women who were sensitized by NAPTIP officials. No to human trafficking. No to child labor. No to child In order to foster collaboration, members of the Nigerian Bar Association Abuja Unity Branch paid a courtesy visit to the Director General of NAPTIP. Stay with us. Executive members of the Nigerian Bar Association Abuja Unity Branch, led by its chairman, Abimbola Michael Kayode, paid a courtesy visit to the Director General of NAPTIP, Dame Julie Okadolli, at the agency's headquarters in Abuja. Commending the efforts of NAPTIP, 
The chairman then stated the purpose of their visit. The importance of uh, this agency in the, our social life cannot be overemphasized. And we all know the, the issues that uh, surround uh, trafficking generally in Nigeria. So I want to um, appreciate you and your uh, directors for how you've been carrying on. There have been a, a, a kind of turnaround in the, in the activities of the agency worldwide. Uh, we are here to find out how we can uh, partner with the agency uh, in the area of uh, uh, prosecution, particularly of offenders, and then also uh, area of seminars and workshops in conjunction with the NBA to sensitize our members and members of the uh, general public in the activities of uh, your agency. Welcoming the executive members of the Abuja NBA, Dame Julie Oka Donnelly enlightened the team on the five-prong approach in the fight against human trafficking and the importance of staff training. That tip here, we have um, this five-pronged approach to our responsibilities or our mandate here. We have partnership, which is what we're trying to do right now. Um, prevention, which is in the area of sensitization. Uh, prosecution, of course, which is your area as well. Um, policy and um, um, protection protects the victims of human trafficking and um, of course the NBA is one of uh, very very critical partners in this fight you know stakeholders we've had a series of trainings with judges but it's very important we also have trainings with lawyers because if you do not understand something it will be very difficult for you to prosecute you know so we have a lot of work to do together in that um, regard. She also highlighted likely areas of partnership. We can do a lot to sensitize people to know exactly what NAPTIP is about and what we are doing. Of course, we're looking at infusing the human trafficking and concepts, for example, into your annual NBA activities, because I know you have a lot of programs. So whenever you have seminars, workshops, you can also put something on human trafficking. In every program, not one or two programs, we have our resource persons here. They will come and share and um, sensitize. I think that would be a very good way to sensitize um, everyone. We're also looking at uh, pro bono services that um, we can get from you and other kind forms of legal assistance. Um, there's one other aspect that um, we've more or less ignored um, for a long time and I would like to bring it out because um, the victims have a right to compensation. So you can help us in that regard on behalf of the victims to file a civil litigation to ensure that they are given compensation. So whilst NAPTIP is dealing with the criminal aspect of it, you are dealing with the civil aspect so that they can get compensation. At the end of the meeting, both parties agreed to work together towards the eradication of human trafficking in Nigeria. In Abuja, rescued victims of the Naptip shelter had an august visitor. Let's find out what they came to do. As part of its corporate social responsibilities, staff of Envision Global Care, a humanitarian organization entrenched in providing free quality healthcare services to the less privileged, led by the program director, Chinonyerem Ndukwe, visited the Naptip shelter in Abuja. The program director and her team delivered health talks on hand washing, menstrual hygiene, and self examination to detect breast cancer. Relief materials were provided to all the children at the shelter after the health talk. The program director, Chinonyerem Ndukwe, shed light on their visit. We are here at the Naptip shelter to, to help and to provide support in terms of relief materials to the children here. We also came to have a small discussion on the WASH program organized by UNICEF and also a menstrual hygiene and a self-examination of breast cancer. We came here today to support NAPTIP, to encourage them to do more that they are doing, to, make, to let them know that, that we are here and looking up to them. And we are grateful to NAPTIP for the support that they've given us thus far. The representative of the Director General of NAPTIP, the Acting Director, Counseling and Rehabilitation Department, Patricia Odoku, 
commended the Envision Global Care Foundation for the kind gesture. This is a very good gesture and we encourage them to also spread the news, tell other NGOs that this is what we are doing. They have come here, they now have a knowledge of what we are doing, they've, ha they've seen our children, then we cannot do it alone as an active and Nigeria cannot do it alone. We must come together to be our brother's keeper and make sure um, we help ourselves. These are young people and we really need to encourage them and we ask them to encourage other young people to come and help our youths, help our brothers and sisters, make sure they are not trafficked, make sure that even if they are trafficked, that we provide them with care and support they need. Collaboration with relevant stakeholders is key in curbing the menace of human trafficking. Naptip has a new slogan, why you may ask? Well, you will find out if you stay with Naptip on the move. In its efforts to rebrand the agency and strengthen its fight against human trafficking and violence against persons, the management of Naptip recently changed its slogan from empowered to protect you to ensuring a human trafficking free nation. Ebele Ulasi, Assistance Director, Public Enlightenment Department, sheds light on the reason for adopting this new slogan. The leadership of NAPTI, under the current Director General, then Julia Cadonley, is decisive in its resolve to reposition and rebrand the agency. And the agency as it is now meets a customized and special slogan that will at a glance depict the functions the agency, you know, is performing without ambiguity. That is why the management of NAPTI finally constructed a new slogan. And the slogan we have now is NAPTI, ensuring a human trafficking free nation. In line with the new slogan, NAPTI is working to ensure a human trafficking free nation. Now you know that Naptip is better poised to serve you. We will move on now to see the e-library, which was recently opened for real-time online research on human trafficking issues. Keep watching. The National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons recently set up and equipped its e-library at its training resource center. The e-library will enhance research data collation and documentation. The e-library is also vital in the dissemination of information. This initiative is part of the agency's efforts in ensuring the fulfillment of its mandate. This is to inform the general public that Perebi Nicole Otubo, a notorious human trafficker, is wanted by NAPTIP. Anyone with useful information on her whereabouts should contact the agency on this toll-free number. 0703-000-203-0800-2255-627847. You can email info at naptip.gov.ng. NAPTIP ensuring a human trafficking free nation for more inquiries and support or to report cases of suspected human trafficking and child abuse please call naptive hotlines on 0703-000203 or 0800-2255-627847 or email info at naptip.gov.ng visit our website www.naptip.gov.ng Follow us on our social media platforms at Naptip Nigeria and watch our videos on YouTube. It's time to say goodbye, but please be your brother's keeper by reporting suspected cases of human trafficking, child abuse and all forms of violence against persons. We now have the Naptip iReporter app. It makes it really easy. Go to Google Store, download it. If you see anything, please say something quick enough. I hope to see you again.
same time next week. I am Emanuela Okeke and I must thank you for watching. Goodbye.